Hi guys, today let's talk about this new tuner from Walrus Audio, which has been hyped by so many YouTubers and all told us what a great device it is. But there's one reason why I will send this damn thing back. Yes, it is a very nice pedal with a big, bright, good readable display and some features other tuners do not provide such as a full color display which can be rotated in 90 degree steps for different bypass modes, which is by the way the main reason why I ordered one, two tuner modes, needle and strobe, and a few gimmicks like a tune assistant which displays a frame on the screen as soon as a string is in tune, or a screensaver which allows you to put your own picture on the display. So what's the issue with that thing? Well, it's not that it has no cavity for the battery or it takes 300 milliamperes or that it has no power out to daisy chain other pedals, but it may have something to do with it. But first, let us test how fast and accurate it is compared to the famous Polytune from TC Electronics and the Stroposom from Peterson. As you could see, all three are about equally fast. The main difference is that the canvas tuner displays a ringing note not as long as the two other pedals. Now let me demonstrate the issue nobody told you. Here I have a simple test pedal board with a power supply, a compressor and the canvas tuner. Nothing special, each pedal has its own power connector, works great so far. Then I have a daisy chain power connector, means two power cables are connected to one power slot with a split cable. Now let's see what happens when I connect the tuner to the daisy chain cable. What the heck, a noisy tuner. You may know such issues from digital pedals like a digital delay or reverb, but a tuner? And if you think the tuner is silent when muted, no way, it's still noisy. I mean, on a pedal board power slots are rare. That's why other tuners like the Stroposomp and the Polytuner offer a power out check to daisy chain other pedals. As you can see here, that's the Polytune and that's the Stroposomp. And both pedals don't have any digital noise issue. So by taking a look into the manual, I found this interesting footnote. The use of an isolated power supply is recommended for powering all Walrus audio pedals. Daisy chain power supplies are not recommended. Hmm. In my opinion, not recommended is a very nice way of describing useless. I mean, that tuner would be perfect and I can't understand Walrus Audio messed it up with that power supply limitation. Other manufacturers show that it can work. Anyway, for those who want to keep that pedal and don't know, for around 10 bucks you can get this set she P noise blocker from Jojo which is able to isolate your power connector from the daisy chain. However, for some reason it does not work with each pedal. So it can't be used directly in front of the canvas tuner, possibly because the tuner takes too much power.
but for low power pedals it works great. See what happens when I put it in between the power supply and the daisy chained compressor pedal. As you could hear, the noise now disappeared. So that's it for today. If you want to follow me on my journey through guitar stuff like this and more, please like and subscribe because I'm here to prove things and tell you the whole story.